Hey guys, this is Carl from Happy's Lawn Care. Today is June 26th. I'm pretty, yes, June 26th. It's a beautiful day. I think we're supposed to have four or five days of really nice, no humidity. I think maybe rain one day. It's only a 40% chance. But after these five days, I think I've seen 70% chance of rain for like the next nine days after that. But it changes so much here in the mountains, so hopefully it stays for the good for us. Um, today we have 14 on the list. It's just me by myself until Rachel's going to meet me, I think, at 4.30, 5 o'clock at the other... I think when she meets me, we'll have six more to do. So hopefully we can do six of them in five... I mean, in two hours. Um, and hopefully I can get 14 done, maybe a little bit more than 14 done. This is the furthest one we have. I have to drive to. It's uh, I think 22 miles from my house, so it takes me about 35 minutes to get here. And the only reason we have this account, it's one of our first accounts that we picked up eight years ago. And I have two more that are about three miles south of this. Um, eventually, I'd like to eliminate these ones all the way up here and not have to drive. There's so much down by our area that we can pick up. But when you've had a client for eight years, you can't, I mean, I'm not going to just tell her I'm not going to mow no more. So I'll be doing it until she gets rid of me. <laughs> so that probably won't ever happen. So, and I don't want to pick up really any more up here. I don't like driving all the way up here. I mean, it's 35 minutes here, 35 minutes back. So, well, I'll get started. I'll record a little bit of the before and then I'll do the after and show you what it looks like. This one's been 14 days. It's normally a nine to 12 day count, but we're a little behind from the rain. So here's the before of it. Not too bad, but I'll have to double cut this one probably. I'll get an after of it. So number one is done. Can't really stripe too good with weeds. This yard is 99 percent weeds I'm pretty sure a little bit of grass so you can't really stripe it the best with weeds I mean you still can a little bit but I don't worry about them I like to stripe the ones that are really nice grass so off to the next one
This is why mowing wet grass sucks. finished two off the number three and four they're right next to each other they're a little bigger they're a little um, one of them is really big the other one's kind of small so they even out to be about average but hopefully the grass dried up a little bit a lot of shade there so I don't think it probably did I mean it's 11 o'clock almost and the grass is still wet and moist I think in some spots it stays wet until like two o'clock around here the other day it did Saturday it definitely did but I'll record some of one of uh, the other ones that I'm mowing and then we'll get them done. So 12 more to go. So this is number three. Goes all the way back here. Along the side. And this one's 14 days. It's been a while since I've been here. Got to get it back at 10 days and then all up in the backyard there and this one over here is number four just this little backyard with bunny rabbits in it and then a little bit in the front so i'll go ahead and get this one started and do an after Finish number three and number four. Took me a little bit longer than I'd like. So I'm to double cut the whole yard, both of them. Just because that's what happens when I get behind. And it's 14 days, that's why I love to do anywhere from 9 to 12 is my schedule. But you can't do nothing if it's raining. So, not enough sun angled to get nice stripes, but usually I can stripe that one nice. It's just so long. But 
Okay, off to number five. Okay guys, here's number five. This one ain't, it doesn't grow much at all. We're trying to get it established. I seeded it and aerated it last year. There's new grass growing. Um, and then the other side's a little tiny part. So I'll mow this one. Showing after, but like I said, there ain't much to this one. It's so hilly that I can't even get a perfect cut on it. It's got so many dips and bumps in it. But we'll get it after anyway. Not sure if I'm getting this. Remember what I was telling you guys about the bees? There's a nest right there. You see them coming in and out of there? Hit that with the mower and you will have hundreds of bees coming after you. So I'm going to leave that for now. Next time I come, I will put something on. I'm not quite sure if I think I got them. I dumped gasoline down their hole. And they're not pretty happy right now with me. So I ran and got <laughs> But hopefully that kills them off. That's what I do until I get some spray now that the bees are out. Which sucks. Because I don't want to get stung. It really, really hurts. Yeah. Definitely don't want to get stung. I've been stung. Way too many times in this business. Eight years I probably stung like... 60 times already and I don't want to get stung anymore but you have to be careful when you mow past the, when you mow especially this time of the season you want to make sure that you're after you go on one strip when you're doing the next one that you're aware because they'll come out and you will see them if you're watching them um, the vibration of the mower really upsets them they don't like it and I kill them bees because they don't do nothing. They don't pollinate. They just come out and attack you. I think they... I don't want to get stung because I swell up like a balloon. I don't think I... Rachel wants me to have an EpiPen, but I don't think I swell up to where I would die, hopefully. But we don't want to find out. So hopefully I took care of them. I'll be very cautious. I mark down every yard that has bees that I find. And I'm very cautious the next time I go because it does not feel good. I think the most I've been stung was five or six times at once and kind of broke my finger trying to run away, I think. It's kind of crooked now. My One of my fingers, this one right here, is a little crooked because I was running down a cul-de-sac down a hill and lost my balance as I was swatting away bees and went head first into the concrete, landed on my shoulder flipped over with the weed whacker and was pretty scraped up it tore my shirt and ripped the hole in my shoulder but the bee stings i think hurt more more than falling down the hill and messing up my finger so i think a guy from terminex said that you shouldn't run you should be calm if you hit a nest uh, i don't quite buy that one anybody who's allergic to bees if you want to stay calm as they're swarming, you tell me how that works. But I'm not trying it. So off to number six to do number six. So I finished number six. Didn't record any of it because the people were home and I didn't want to go in their yard with the phone. Um, now I'm at number seven. Um, then I get one more at number eight all the way back down by our house. And then Rachel's gonna meet me to do number nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, hopefully. We'll see, we have to get five, six done in two hours. We'll see if we can do that. So guys, this is number eight that we're doing. It's all the way back to that tree back there. And then small front yard. And then I think it's almost five o'clock. Hope I can get this done this one by 5.30, then go pick up the boss to come and help me do five more. So I finished this one. I'll have to pick the boss up now. This one's fun to do. 
I was at 11 days. No, 12 days, way too long. Gotta get back on weekly. I'll have to go pick up the boss and go do the rest. Five more. So I'm here to do number 9, 10, and 11. This is 9. 10 is right over here. And then 11 is right across the street. Um, the boss ain't here yet to help. So I'm going to start without her. She'll get here soon, I guess. So I didn't get 14 done today. I ended up getting the 11 yards done. Rachel came out to help me at the end to do the three of them. We didn't get to the other two. It's eight o'clock almost at night and I don't want to show up at somebody's house at eight o'clock to mow the rest. I'll just wait till tomorrow. So that leaves us tomorrow with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 for tomorrow. Which we know I ain't getting that done. Maybe I'll get 12 done. So then that means I'll bring 7 to the next day and then have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9. Then I'll have 13 to do on Wednesday. And I have an open day Thursday for the projects we're going to finished pruning up something I started weeks ago but I have understanding clients that's the good thing about building a good relationship with all your clients that you have hopefully that Sunday and get you then we should be all caught up so thanks for watching please like and subscribe and have a good night just two, it's what, seven, seven o'clock at night in that backyard over there was just soaking wet and going and the rain days. I guess from all the news for the other day. But tomorrow's another day. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.